in most cases, the person who does the cutting goes deep into the villages where normally you won't see eye care people going. And they are able to convince the people that they are going to let them see without performing surgery. So what actually happens is, without any anesthesia, the patient is cooked on the ground, the head is held firmly so that he cannot move. And then with a long pointed needle, which sometimes is blunt, um, the needle is pierced through the limbus into the anterior chamber towards the iris. And then they make their way to where the lens is and try to break the zonos of the lens. And once it is, it is felt that the zonal is broken, it is pushed and dislodged into the posterior, into the uh, vitreous. And the mere fact that once somebody has a cataract, he cannot see um, brightness so much, and then the, the, the lens is now dislodged, so there is much light going to the eye. The patient feels that he's been treated. But later on, one day, two days afterwards, then they begin to feel the aftermath of it. Severe pain, uh, inflammation, to the point of some people getting endophthalmitis or even retina detachment. And it is only when these conditions set in that they now come to us for help. Um, even this place where we are now, at least we have seen about four of them. Yesterday we operated on a teacher who gave herself up for counting. And yesterday we operated the other eye. So it's a very big problem here in, in the northern region, especially this district.